Previously on the Rose Hill Legacy. Oh, don't worry, I broke up with Dahlia. Once they have family are the nicest of them all. They're very rude, very, I would say, closed-minded. These are Violetta's parents. Violetta, we want nothing to do with this child, and we honestly want nothing to do with you. Hi my plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I'm going to be doing another part of The Sims 4 Rose Hill Legacy. I am really, really happy to be back with another part of Rose Hill Legacy because as I've mentioned so many times, I love this Let's Play so much and I'm just really, really, really happy to be back. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Lorena. I do mainly Sims 4 content like Let's Plays and Creator Sims. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family. Today's Plum of the Day shout out goes to M and O Simmers. I'm really, really happy you are enjoying the Rose Hill legacy. And yes, it does have a lot of drama. Rose Legacy is probably my most drama-filled Let's Play I ever have done. So yeah, like I said, I'm really, really happy you are enjoying it. So if you want to be included in the next Plum of the Day shout out, all you have to do is subscribe and click the notification bell and comment something with purple heart emojis at the end. So without further ado, let's get into today's part of the Rose Hill Legacy. So in this part, I'm pretty sure Violetta is going to be giving birth. So I did ask you guys for a ton of name suggestions and everyone left a lot of really great name suggestions. So I'm just really, really happy to be picking them. And Violetta has just returned home from seeing her parents in Brindleton Bay. As we know, it didn't go well at all. <laughs> it really, really, really didn't go well. Her family really don't want anything to do with her anymore. They really don't want to see the new child. So everything's kind of just not going over very well at all with her family. But I think Violetta, she... I don't think she's that sad about it. She was never close with them anyway, as we would have noticed. So I don't think she's that sad. I think she's quite actually relieved that her family really don't want anything to do with her anymore, as weird as it sounds. I think maybe it's just good that she's gotten some closure on it now and she kind of knows that kind of she's cut all ties with her family. And I think a part of her is kind of happy she did and she's kind of, like I said, got enclosure on the whole, whole situation with her family. So she isn't wondering now, you know, maybe they've changed. Maybe they do actually want to see me. But uh, as we know, they definitely haven't changed at all. So uh, yeah, so she's feeling really excited. And as we also know, in the beginning of last part, Nathaniel actually told Violetta that he actually broke up with Dahlia. So then he could, you know, make more moves, I guess, with, with or on Violetta. And that part, I think Violetta has had so much stuff on her mind you know with seeing her family she didn't really process that but i think right now she's kind of thinking wait a minute so nathaniel actually broke up with dahlia just so he could you know not be with me yet but you know do more romantic stuff with me so i think she's definitely thinking about that and i definitely think a part of her is kind of confused about it but she definitely wants to talk it through with nathaniel because now she's kind of processed it and stuff but it is currently 8 a.m so she has the whole day ahead of her and as i said today i think she definitely wants to do some prepping for the baby i want to really focus on the baby in this part so of course we have to focus a little bit on nathaniel because you know we, ha we have to see what happens with that <laughs> but i really want to focus on the baby so i think i'm not sure if i want violetta to move out into a new house yet this apartment clearly, it's a big apartment, but it doesn't really have another room or much space in this room for a crib. So I think Violetta's thinking, you know, should I move out or not? I think for now she's going to stay here uh, because this is apartment and I think she really loves it. And I think, I think there could be room. Like I feel like we could fit in a bassinet somewhere in here because that's what I'm going to do. So we're just kind of doing prepping for the child today. I definitely do think that soon though, Violetta will move out into a new house though, mainly because we should sell some of this stuff, mainly because she, I think she doesn't want to raise her child in the city. She wants to raise her child somewhere else that again like like i said isn't in the city no we actually don't know the gender of the child and i don't think i had the mod where she can get an ultrasound i may have removed that mod and i just kind of get rid of those curtains i may have removed that mod the ultrasound mod so i may have to get it back but i kind of want to save the gender to be a surprise i think uh for now i just want to get a nice white bassinet i think that looks really really pretty and maybe i'll add a little toy to it can we put it oh or am i just getting confused with the sims 3 <laughs> <laughs> all right i think that's fine and i think for now we're just gonna get a bassinet and as i said i think by the time the child becomes a toddler we will have to move out because there's not enough room but i think for now everything's pretty good can we like get rid of these gnomes please there we go we're gonna go ahead and just sell these gnomes get rid of them 
Alrighty, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just get her to do a, maybe just a, uh, an abstract painting usually brings a lot of money, don't they? I'm going to just go ahead and get her to do just a medium abstract, can speak abstract <laughs> painting this morning. I think maybe she's just going to go ahead and meet up with Nathaniel in a second. Maybe, you know, talk to him about everything. And she's definitely still thinking about, you know, him telling her that he broke up with Dahlia, so they could have a chance which i find is really interesting so we're gonna go ahead and just get her to sell that and then i'm gonna go ahead and get her to just head out and i think she's gonna invite nathaniel out with her i think maybe they should go ahead and get some brunch at the old salt house restaurant or should we do that i think i think that's a pretty cute idea so i'm gonna go ahead and just get them to go ahead and get some brunch maybe just some coffee or something with nathaniel because you know she really wants to talk things over with him and i think nathaniel has definitely like messaged her telling her you know he wants to help out with the baby as much as he can you know just being I guess supporting Violetta with that. Alrighty, so we have arrived at the restaurant now, and I just realized I kind of took them to a quite fancy restaurant to get lunch, but oh well. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just get them to request this table over here. Violetta isn't that hungry, so I'm probably just gonna get her to maybe get like a snack or a coffee or something. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get Violetta to just order for the table in case the food takes some time to show up. So I think for Violetta, she's going to just get a calming chamomile and I think I'm just going to get Nathaniel this pitch black coffee. <laughs> I think for Violetta, I'm maybe just going to get her to get herself just some cheesy bread since she isn't that hungry and maybe, maybe Nathaniel can just get himself a garden salad and I think that's all we're going to get. <laughs> A pretty affordable meal. Where are you going, Nathaniel? Can you sit down, please? I feel like restaurants in The Sims 4 are just getting glitchier and glitchier, especially especially with the new packs. And why is water? <laughs> I don't even want to know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask Nathaniel, sir, can you please just sit down instead of flirting with Mortimer Goth? Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure Violetta is about to go ahead and order for the table. And then I think she's going to go ahead and just ask about Nathaniel's day because I feel like that's like a nice thing to do. I think Nathaniel's like, you know, how did, you know, meeting with your family go? Did it go well? Did it not go well? Oh, Brooke seems to be calling Violetta, inviting her out to the Blue Velvet Club. I think Violetta's going to say no since it's 3 p.m. first of all. And for two, she's pregnant and she's already occupied <laughs> doing something else. But that's still really nice of Brooke to call. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get her to just kind of tell him, you know, it didn't go too well. But I'm not completely sad because at least, you know, I have closure on the situation. And I don't have to keep wondering how my family changed at all. And... I think Nathaniel's like, I'm sad it didn't go too well for you, but I'm glad that you're happy and you're not too, you know, sad about that. And I actually think Violetta has just entered her give birth in or fourth trimester or whatever, third trimester. <laughs> and it looks like, look at that baby bump. Look at that baby bump. That's so exciting. I really hope she has a girl. If she has a boy, I'll be happy, but I'm kind of hoping she does have a girl. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think she's going to have a chat with Nathaniel and she's like, thank you for, I guess, you know, being a support to kind of help me with blue and stuff she's like i, re I really do appreciate it nathaniel and uh, oh that's just gained a sentiment i'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old i feel like you just get me <gasps> do they have any other sentiments she actually has regained a sentiment with nathaniel which i think is really nice keep in mind nathaniel's also feeling kind of flirty and i think she's also gonna bring up about you know say well i'm really really like about you leaving dahlia like you, you actually left her and i think he's like yeah i i just I really wanted to, you know, not be with you, but I really want to have a chance with you maybe one day. And he's like, I'm sorry about, I'm just going to cheat her bad I need a little bit. <laughs> I think he's going to be like, I'm sorry that I kind of didn't tell you about Dahlia, but I realized that I really prefer you over her. So I broke up with her so I could have more of a chance with you. And I think Phila is just like, wow, Nathaniel, that's really nice of you, but I'm not sure if I'm really ready for a relationship at the moment or anything of that sort. So I really want to focus, you know, on the child but i really do appreciate it and yeah and i think nathaniel he doesn't seem too bothered i don't think i think they could still have a chance of being together violetta just isn't interested in being romantic at all but i still think nathaniel's gonna try and make moves on her <laughs> either way so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just get them to just eat their meal now since it has arrived and they're just having a really nice chat um but yeah i think tell me what you guys think though about tell me what you guys think about uh nathaniel leaving dahlia to try and you know have more of a chance with Violetta. Go tell me how you feel about that down below. Really interested, interested, yeah. <laughs> Take your guys' opinion on that. But yeah, I'm just gonna get them to kind of just eat their lunch and then I'm probably gonna get Violetta to head home. I think what I'm gonna get her to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and get her to maybe just, I wish kiss cheek was an option. I feel like that could be a really perfect interaction, but maybe I'm gonna get her to just 
girl, can you not talk to people? I'm going to go ahead and get her to just hold his hands and kind of say, you know, thanks for everything. Thanks for really, um, I guess, helping. Thanks, Nathaniel. I really appreciate it. He just gave a sentiment about Violetta. I gotta go check that one out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check it. I love the new sentiments, by the way. <gasps> oh, I love this is adding to the story. Okay. Okay, so Violetta has one sentiment with Nathaniel, which is more of like a friendship one. Uh, of course, it could be like a romantic one too, but I feel like this is more of a friendship one, you know, closer from happy memories. But he's actually smitten with Violetta, which I find extremely, really, really interesting, which makes me really happy about that. But yeah again tell me what you guys think about that too so i'm gonna go ahead and just get to end the meal and she's actually being extremely flirty which is cool i'm gonna go, go ahead she's actually flirting with him i didn't even get her to flirt with him but like i was saying i'm gonna get to just go ahead and end the meal and pay the pay the meal bill and then i'm gonna go ahead and just get her to head home so uh yeah that's that i think that went extremely successfully i mean you know it's just a quick cute little lunch thing and the Festival of Lights just started. I don't think we're going to be going to the Festival of Light, though. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and get Violetta to head home. So uh, I'll see you guys when uh, she returns When she returns home. Alrighty, so we have arrived back at Violetta's house. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm maybe going to get her to do a flirty painting just so she can earn some money off of that. And uh, yeah, then I'm probably just going to get her to, you know, relax. Maybe watch some TV. Uh, she just ate, so I don't think she's going to cook herself any food. But kind of just relax. And oh my god, it looks like she's drawing, I think... Or, sorry, painting a little dinner date, which I think is so cute because she could be, you know, maybe painting her little lunch date, if you will, with uh, Nathaniel, um, if that is what she's painting, which I think is actually really cute and a quite cool coincidence, which I find really, yeah, she is actually painting that. So maybe she's kind of painting what, you know, how it went with Nathaniel, which <laughs> I know I'm just kind of imagining that she's doing that, but still, that's a pretty funny, well, cool, I guess, coincidence, if you will. And uh, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and just get her to sell that painting once she's done. Should we sell that painting? It's kind of ugly. I mean, I don't want to be mean, but it's not the bad. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it because it looks, I feel like it's irrelevant. Maybe not above the bassinet, maybe. Maybe just, <laughs> maybe just there. Oh no, it's not right in the middle. Ooh, that's going to annoy me. I'm going to have to go into Bilbo and sort that out. Maybe we'll get her to do a couple of paintings for, um, maybe some pop art paintings for to put above um, the soon-to-be babies. <laughs> the, you know what I mean? I kids bassinet that could be pretty cute i'm gonna get to maybe do some paintings for that and like i said she's just feeling extremely extremely happy to be pregnant which i find is really lovely but i'm gonna get her to just do a small pop art painting just like i said put above the baby's bassinet and then i'm probably gonna get her to just you know watch some tv relax and she's actually she's actually emotionally mindful at the moment too so i think violetta she's really happy she's really happy currently um with how her life's going which i think is quite good you know not everything like it's, it's still really confusing as we know it's not going to be easy but i'm glad to see that violetta is happy but oh this painting is really cool it's a bit of a weird one to put above the baby's bassinet though <laughs> i'll probably get to sell this one maybe try and paint another one tomorrow all right it's a cool painting i'm just gonna go ahead and get to just sell that and then use the toilet then watch some tv then i'm probably gonna get to just go to bed so i will be seeing you guys when violetta wakes up tomorrow Alrighty, so Violetta has just woken up. I'm just gonna go ahead and just get her to sort out some of her needs, have some breakfast, etc. And I think today, I think she's gonna go ahead and invite her friends. I'm gonna get her to make herself some pancakes, but <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead today and I'm gonna go ahead and get her to invite some of her friends over to kind of just have a little friend gathering today, which I think could be really nice. I don't think she wants to do her art club today since oh no the sink just broke since you know she kind of wants to be around more of her closer friends because she wants to kind of just discuss her pregnancy with them and all of that stuff so i think that's definitely what we're going to be doing today which i think could be really fun i think nathaniel's definitely going to be invited to this little gathering of hers i really should have gotten a baby shower mod now i come to think of it <laughs> i will next time though but yeah it's it's kind of just going to be a little cute low-key kind of hangout which i think could be really nice so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to make herself some pancakes, you know, just maybe she doesn't, her hygiene isn't too bad, so she's probably not gonna have a shower, but I think now she's gonna go ahead and just invite over some friends. I think she's gonna go ahead and of course invite over Nathaniel and oh no, the dishwasher has seemed to be broken, but it's only 75 million, so it's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and get to invite over Nathaniel, uh, I think Blue should probably come over, Brooke, that's another one of her close friends, of course Adrian, I think Adrian's another one of her close Eric, he's a pretty close friend too. And uh, I think Mila is also a pretty... Is she already here? I'm not sure. We can't really... We don't have the option to invite her, so I'm not sure. But 
Nathaniel, of course, has shown up first. <laughs> Let's go ahead and invite him in. Maybe just do a little embrace. I feel like that could be really nice. There we go. I think everyone's going to be coming over. And oh my goodness, Violetta just tried to embrace Nathaniel and he declined it, which I think is a bit weird. But oh, Blue... <laughs> Blue has just come in feeling really, really angry. I mean, she did just try to embrace Nathaniel, so maybe he's angry about that? I don't even know. I'm not sure why he'd be so angry about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get her to maybe just... Actually, just go ahead and ask Blue about his day. I think that could be pretty good. And it seems like her friends are starting to show up a lot, which I think is really nice. And so is Adrian. Adrian's here too. Hello, I don't think we've seen Adrian in some time. But I think she's gonna ask him how his day is going. And again, I'm not sure why he's necessarily angry he just is like i said he was pretty angry after violetta embraced nathaniel but i don't think that's the reason i mean it could be but he doesn't seem too happy to be here which i find interesting invite to feel baby etc i think brooke is extremely excited about this <laughs> it seems as if nathaniel adrian and mila seem to be having a little conversation out here but looks like there we go he's just gonna go ahead and feel the baby which is really 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 cute and Maybe I'm going to go ahead and get her to do the same with Brooke. Why are Sim so obsessed with clay? It came with the uh, eco lifestyle, the Sim and clay glitch, but it's extremely annoying. But <laughs> I think she's going to go do a Brooke now, which is really cute. I think Brooke, like I said, is extremely excited about this. I think Brooke is probably her best friend out of everyone. But there we go. That is so cute. I'm going to go ahead and maybe just give her a little hug as well. That could be pretty nice. There we go. I'm just going to get them to hug. And it seems as if Brooke is making her jump. <laughs> they seem to be just having some fun together. But there we go. I'm going to quickly get Violetta to just use the toilet and then maybe come say hello to Mila. She hasn't seen Mila in some time, so I think it's quite nice to, to go say hi to Mila. Have maybe a deep conversation. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just get everyone to sit down together now. They can all just have like a really big group conversation, which I think could be really nice. And yeah, there we go. I think maybe people are already getting up. <laughs> can since just sit down? I'm just going to go ahead and get just ask about Nathaniel's day. Uh, discuss neighborhood changes with Adrian. What, Nathaniel, what are you doing? Oh, Nathaniel seems to be flirting with Violetta, which I find interesting. Oh my goodness, is Adrian blowing a kiss at Violetta? <laughs> I swear to goodness. And Brooke seems to be flirting with Adrian. My Sims sometimes, they just, they confuse me. They really confuse me. <laughs> but maybe I'll get her um, to it. Can I speak? I'm probably going to get her to ask Nathaniel to maybe feel the baby too, which could be cute. Also, I do apologize if the game is a bit laggy today. I'm not really sure why it's laggy. It just kind of is, so I do apologize. But I think Nathaniel's really excited about the baby too, which I think is really lovely. But yeah, I do find it strange though that uh, when, you know, she went to go ahead and embrace him in front of everyone, he kind of just was like, no, wait, don't do that. Which I find interesting. Hold a moment. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Who? What? Oh my god, Who, who's in there? Brooke and Blue! My Sims, I swear to god. What are you two- What are they even doing? What's Blue doing first of all? This is so confusing. This is meant to be- Everyone's leaving now, but this is meant to be a really cute little gathering. And Brooke and Blue, go ahead and do that. I am just extremely confused. Like, when have Brooke and Blue ever shown any interest in each other? Like, since never- Brooke has never oh my goodness I my sims game confuses me sometimes it really does but it seems if Adrian is actually staying longer than everyone else she has actually apologized to him maybe she said something rude to him but I'm gonna go ahead and get him to, her to sorry get her to maybe just apologize to him and for whatever she did I'm not sure what she did but <laughs> yeah I think she's just gonna have a little conversation with Adrian I find it interesting though that Adrian has stayed the longest despite everyone else I think that's really nice of him I think she's just gonna say like I'm really grateful for you and everyone else for you know really helping me out with this because you know despite blue being a bit weird sometimes it's just nice to have you know some some friends and I, I think it's really nice and I don't know what I would do without you know you Adrian and some of my other I guess friends it's just you guys are family and I'm really happy that you guys will be in the in the child's life I think that's really really sweet <laughs> I think Asia is also gonna be leaving now which I think is about time <laughs> but yeah I'm kind of just waiting now for her to give birth you know she's had a little little meet up with everyone maybe I can go ahead and guess she's going a little walk <laughs> maybe I saw like go on a walk a minute ago where's it gone now seems to have just disappeared 
Oh my goodness. I wish there was like go on walk option. I feel like that could be really lovely. But maybe I'm going to quickly just go ahead to maybe go outside and go ahead and just sit on a bench and kind of just reflect on everything, if you will, if that's the right word to use. Maybe she can go actually, she should probably go and get some dinner maybe. I'm going to go actually get her to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just get her to just order, order some food. I'm going to go ahead and get her to maybe just get some, maybe just some curry for dinner. And hold on. Is she flirting with Adrian? <laughs> Adrian seems to be giving Violetta a massage with it, which I think is pretty interesting. As I've said before, I don't think these guys are ever going to be together. I think we've definitely, you know, she did have a little thing with Adrian, but it was kind of more of like a friendly thing. Uh, so yeah, we've kind of already passed the, will she end up with Adrian <laughs> thing, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Hold the phone. So much is happening. Hey, Violetta, it's me, Nathaniel. Do you want to go out on a date? Nathaniel is inviting Vio out on a date. <laughs> so much is going on i just can't right now <laughs> uh i think he's inviting her out to dinner but i think she's gonna say nathaniel listen i need some time to myself uh i will go out on a date with you because you know that's interesting i'm really glad you want to go out on a date with me but right now i'm just i'm kind of just eating some curry <laughs> i'm not really interested in going out to another restaurant but oh my goodness nathaniel stop calling violetta <laughs> This guy is so desperate. I kind of want to go to the romance festival, but not on my own. Will you be my wing? <laughs> you know what? Why not? Let's just go. <laughs> Nathaniel seems so desperate. I I know I said she'd eat her curry, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to the romance festival with festival with Nathaniel. <laughs> I can't believe he called her twice. He's like, hey, do you want to go on a date to a restaurant? And she's like, no, thank you. Five minutes later, do you want to go to the romance festival with me? <laughs> my goodness. All right, so we have arrived at the romance festival. Where is Nathaniel? Here he is. <laughs> I think she's going to go ahead and just say hello to Nathaniel. Uh, maybe just do a little friendly hug. Maybe they can just sit on this bench together and maybe just have like a little chat. So maybe they can sit and chat here. That could be pretty lovely. Oh my god, I'm not sure why the frame rate is just so low right now. Like, I really do apologize. I'm not sure what's wrong with the romance festival that makes my game lag this much like it's really irritating i'm not sure what's like making it lag i don't even know but like i said i'm just gonna go ahead to go ahead and just sit down with nathaniel she's actually blowing a kiss with nathaniel and i think violetta's kind of realizing you know i think she definitely does like nathaniel as well she's definitely still likes him and now he's mentioned that he's you know broken up with dahlia i think she's like really i think she thinks that she actually has a chance with him again i think he's gonna say like i'm sorry for what i did i'm sorry i again i know you already apologized but i think he's gonna be like i'm sorry that i didn't tell you about dahlia that was a really bad move of mine but yeah i'm just gonna get them to do a little bit of snuggling because that's pretty adorable so uh yeah again like tell me what you guys think of everything that's happened it's really clear that nathaniel really likes violetta and i've actually just gone ahead and gotten them to just do a little kiss just a little kiss which i think is really cute but yeah okay awesome Nathaniel, why is he just moving on to speak to this <laughs> this guy? My guy, can you come back here, please? And I'm probably maybe going to get her to maybe give a romantic gift. Give him some curry. Hi, here's some, give him some trash bell. No, <laughs> she has nothing to give, unfortunately. But I don't think the offer rose option is there. Oh, there it is, actually. I'm going to get to maybe offer a rose. Maybe she, you know, picked it up. <laughs> Maybe, I, I would imagine there's like a little rose cart there where they can get the rose from. Because I'm not sure, I don't think Violetta would just have a random rose that she's carrying around <laughs> with her. But she actually just learnt that he's romantic, which I find is pretty interesting. But she's just gone ahead and given him a rose. Tell me what you guys think about all of this. It definitely seems that some things are beginning with Violetta and Nathaniel again. And maybe I'm going to get them to just do some romance festival stuff as well. Oh, I need to reinstall the slow dancing mod. <laughs> I keep forgetting to reinstall it, um, but it's one of my favorite mods, but I actually have the passionate romance mod, so maybe they can go ahead and, let's see, maybe just do like a romantic hug? I haven't used this mod in a long time, but yeah, maybe they can just do a little romantic hug, but I definitely think Violetta's thinking, you know, I really like Nathaniel, he's not with Dahlia anymore, so I'm just, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go for it. But yeah, these guys, I know they're not necessarily dancing, but we can pretend because I forgot to install the mod. <laughs> okay, I'll get it next time. I also need to get the, uh, what's it called, the romantic cloud gaze. Is that what it's called? I'm not too sure, but I need to get that as well. But there we go. Uh, she's still a little bit hungry. I'm gonna get to maybe just get some Raymond, have some dinner, maybe say goodbye to Nathaniel since it is 10 p.m. Again, like I said, Violetta seems to be extremely happy. I think a part of her is really glad that he broke up with Dahlia because I think she always liked Nathaniel the most. And I, I honestly still think that Nathaniel isn't the best guy. We saw what happened with Willow whilst he was with Dahlia. I still am skeptical, skeptical, cannot speak, about Nathaniel. Like, I 
definitely think that he isn't the best guy for, for Violetta, but she seems to think so. And like I said, I guess we'll just have to see. But yeah, I'm going to get to go ahead and finish her Raymond, then I'm probably going to get her to just head home. So that's probably what I'm going to do now. So yeah, I will probably be seeing you guys when Violetta wakes up tomorrow. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys then. Oh my goodness, so Violetta has just woken up and she's actually just gone into labor. So this is so, it's so, so exciting. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and should I make, I'm probably going to go ahead and make her, oh, I'm going to have her go ahead and go to the hospital. I'm going to, of course, join her. And I think she's probably going to invite, ooh, I think she should invite Blue. I think it makes sense to invite Blue. So yeah, she's going to go to head. Just gonna head to the hospital with Blue. This is so exciting. All right, so I'll see you guys when we arrive there. Alrighty, so we have arrived at the hospital and oh my God, Blue, please put on some clothes. <laughs> there we go. All right, this is so, so, so exciting. All right, so I don't think she's ready yet. So I think for now, we're just gonna kind of, she looks like she wants to go ahead and buy herself snacks. I'm just gonna go ahead and get us just do whatever she wants right now as we wait. But this is extremely, extremely, extremely exciting. She looks like she's gotten herself some whatever that is. <laughs> it looks quite disgusting, not gonna lie. Uh, but she also really needs a toilet. I'm probably just gonna cheat her bladder need. I know I should stop cheating my Sims needs. It isn't very good, but it just becomes annoying. <laughs> but there we go. This is so exciting, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. I've been waiting for such a long time. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get just have have herself have herself some food all right this is so exciting i'm not sure if blue's gonna come in they usually don't i think he may have even left did he leave blue my guy blue left okay that usually happens though unfortunately with the sims 4 like if they're not in your household they will automatically leave it's a really annoying glitch but uh, yeah anywho look <gasps> okay Pileta is officially giving birth this is so exciting you guys I really hope she has twins. She's probably not going to have twins, but if she does, that would be really cool. But <gasps> it's a boy. Okay, I'm kind of hoping it was a girl, but hey, it's fine. It's completely fine, but it's a boy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at some of the baby names that you guys suggested. So, I really like the name for... One of the names I really liked for the boys were like Indigo. I think that's such a good name. I really like that one. So, I think... I saw Indigo be suggested a lot as well. Most people are suggesting for a girl, but I feel like Indigo could be a girl or a boy's name, so I don't think it's that much a big of a deal. So we're gonna we're gonna be calling him Indigo, which is so freaking adorable. There we go, Indigo. Indigo Rose Hill. Check. Oh my god! Wait a minute! She actually had twins. What? <laughs> I swear. What? She actually had twins? Oh my god, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I like jumped in my chair. We had two boys. I'm kind of hoping we had another girl, but we had two boys. Wow. Oh my goodness. I am shocked. I am surprised. <laughs> All right. Uh, but let's go ahead and pick. I'm going to have to go ahead and pick another name now. Oh my goodness. All right. I also really like one of the other names. I'm not really sure because Indigo is a name. Oh, okay, like so we've got lots of names, but I think, I think maybe, I see Elliot. I actually really like the name Elliot. I don't know what, I know it doesn't really like fit into like the blue and the Violetta thing, but I feel like Elliot is a really nice name and it kind of has like a ring to it. Am I spelling that correctly? Sorry, me and names, I can't spell for the life of me. Yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like Violetta would name her child Elliot as well if she did have another one. So we've got Indigo and Elliot. Okay, imagine if it's triplets. If it is triplets, it'll be the first ever triplets I ever get in the game. Oh, no, it isn't. That would have been funny, though, right? <laughs> but, oh, my God, I actually can't believe she actually had twins. I haven't had twins in this game in such a long time. Twin boys, too. I kind of wish they were twin girls or a boy and a girl. But, hey, it's fine. I'm really happy. I love Elliot and Indigo. But, look. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited about this. Again, like I said, I'm so shocked that she had twins. Like, how's Blue gonna react to that? How's Blue gonna react to <laughs> But oh my god. So yeah, uh, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think of Indigo and Elliot. Uh, tell me what you thought of this whole part together. Tell me what you thought of Nathaniel and Violetta. If you have any ideas for the Let's Play, what do you think? How do you think Blue will react to twins? <laughs> Anywho, I think I'm going to be wrapping up this part of Rosa Legacy here. I'm so excited for the next part now. How are we going to fit two bassinets in? Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to do the next part now. So if you guys did enjoy, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. We would love to have you join the Plum family. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.